Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Okay, we need that. Oh, that's a lot of turkeys. Hmm. Hey, welcome back. I'm Mr. Dawson, and we're here at Camp Discovery finding all kinds of things that we can learn so we can learn how to read and write. I'm so excited about today because we're going to learn a new letter. But before we get started, I have some exciting news. Yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. Guess what? I'd like to tell you about Valley PBS Family Circle Fall Festival happening next Wednesday, November 25th at 7 p.m. Oh, that's right. It's going to be a night full of excitement. Well, guess who's going to be here? Call Mrs. Uh, Readwright. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Readwright's going to be here, and she's going to do some arts and crafts with you. Oh, my goodness. And then we're going to learn how to make pizza. I'm sure it's gonna have pepperoni and cheese and, and onions, but no anchovies. No, not for me anyway. Oh, oh, and guess what else? We're gonna have cool science experiments from some, some kids from Fresno State. So come next Wednesday, be here at, at Valley PBS so you can have some great fun at the Valley PBS Valley uh, Family Circle Fall Festival. And by the way, don't forget, if you will write to me and tell me some things that you've learned at, at the camp, we'll send you an activity book. Send me something. I love to get those letters. Well, let's go on and do our, our things today. Let's, let's learn about some letters. You ready to review them? Here we go. I have M, map, M. I have S, sun, s. P, piano, p. T, turtle, t. I, insect, i. A, apple, a. N, nest, n. C, camel, k. O, octopus, ah. Uh-oh, this one's trying to hide from us. And here's the one we're doing today. Do you remember this one? D, dolphin, duh. This is the one we're going to learn today. In fact, I have a, a, a video that's telling you, telling you more about the letter D. Have fun watching this one. Consonant D. The letter D stands for the D sound you hear at the beginning of dolphin. You can also hear the D sound at the beginning of dot and at the end of sad. This is an uppercase D. This is a lowercase D. This is how to write the uppercase letter D. Straight down. Go back to the top, around and in at the bottom. This is how to write the lowercase letter D. Circle back and around. Go to the top line, straight down. It's your turn. Did you learn some new things about the letter D? Well, the one thing that they didn't talk about is what kind of animal letter? Do you remember what kind of animal letter D is? That's right. It's a giraffe letter. It starts at the top 
and goes all the way down to the bottom to stop. Well, I have some pictures here that I would look, like to look at and think about the very beginning sound. Let's see if it has duh is for D. Here we go. Door, door, duh, duh, duh. Yes, it has that sound, duh. Duh is for D. All right, let's look at the next one. Dime, dime, duh, duh. Yes, it has it. Duh is for D. How about this last one right here? Dog, dog, duh. Yes, it does. Duh is for D. So guess what? I am going to put the lowercase d. Because all those started with duh is for D. What time? Oh, I know. It's time for phonemic awareness. Oh, we have been talking about syllables, boys and girls. Oh my goodness, we've been talking about syllables. I am so excited because this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna segment a, a word and then spell it. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's my word. Oh, ho, ho, do you know what this is? Rabbit, rabbit, right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clap it. You ready? Rab. Bit. How many syllables? Two, right. So let's get the first syllable. You ready? Rab. Now what can I do? We can sound it out. Rab. How many syllables? I mean, how many phonemes? Three. So all we have to do is put the letters that go with those syllable uh, uh, phonemes. Wow. R. R is for R. A. A is for A. What's the next one? B. B is for B. And what's the next syllable? Rab. Bit. Let's sound it out. You ready? B. It. Okay, now we have to put the letters that go with those sounds. B. B is for B. I. I, right? And what's the last one? T. T is for T. Do you see how knowing the syllables, ha they help us to spell words, bigger words that have, that, ha that are big. Ah, that's so exciting to know about that. Well, let's, let's do this. Oh, I know. Let's take a, a, a little time and have fun with jumbled up sentences. Watch this video. Okay. Here's another set of words that we have to make into a sentence. Right now it says, cat the little here is. Does that make sense? No. So we have to work this so it makes sense. Well, I know that the capital letter has to go first. So I'm going to change the places of the word the and cat. Okay, let's see if it makes sense now. The cat little here is. No, that doesn't make sense. Well, I know that here has the period, so that has to go at the end. So I'm going to change that one with is. Let's see if it makes sense now. The cat little is here. We are close. All right. Uh, let me see. I know, let's change little with cat and see if that makes sense. Let's read it and see if it makes sense. The little cat is here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's read it one more time. The little cat is here. That did make sense. Wow, that's awesome. You did it. You did it. That was fun, wasn't it? Let's dig a little deeper into sentences. Remember, sentence, a sentence is a group of words that tell what someone or something is doing. And it has to have four parts to be a sentence. It has to have a noun, a verb. The first word has to be capitalized. And then you have to ask the question, is there punctuation? 
Well, I have two groups of words and we need to find out, are they sentences? Here's the first one. I like to go to the movies. Let's start checking it out. Remember, it has to have all four. Does it have a naming word? Does it have a noun? Yes, it has I and it has movies. Both of those are nouns. Let's see if it has a, a verb. Uh, what, what am I doing? Oh, yes, I'm going. There's my verb, so I have two so far. So the next one is, is the first word capitalized? Is it uppercase? It's not. It's not. So it's not a sentence, no way. And guess what? It doesn't even have punctuation. It's not a sentence. Let's look at the next one. I like to go to the park. Does it have a noun? Yes, I and park. Does it have a verb? Yes, it has go. I'm going somewhere, so that's the action. Does it have the first uh, word capitalized? Yes. And then, is there punctuation? Ah, no, no, there's no punctuation. So neither one of these are sentences. Oh, hey, by the way, don't forget, we're learning the word go, G-O, and also, Y-O-U. Let's move this over a little bit. Y-O-U. It spells you. Remember, if you see them and know them, then you will be able to read them when you see them. Let's talk about the book that we're going to do for today and tomorrow. Here it is. Let's look at this. Oh, it has a D in there. Let's just look at the title. Maybe we could get to the title today. You ready? Oh, let's use our skills. Here we go. What is the phoneme for S? S, right. What is the phoneme for I? I. Man, you are amazing. And what is the phoneme for D? D. So I have S, I, D. Oh, let's see if we can sound it out. You ready? Go slow. S, I, D. We're blending. Let's do it again. S, I, D. Go really fast. Sid. What's the word? Sid. What is the title of our book? Sid. Hmm. I wonder who Sid is. Could it be the man? Could it be the woman or the girl? Who is Sid? Well, guess what? You're going to have to join me tomorrow to find out because I've run out of time today. Well, tomorrow... We're going to read this book, and we're going to find out who Sid is. I'm so glad that you came today. What did we learn? We learned about the letter D. We, we learned, oh, there's some sight words, go and you. And we talked about sentences. We also talked about syllables and how knowing syllables will help us spell bigger words because we can separate them to the syllables. I had so much fun. I hope you had fun. And I can't wait till tomorrow. I hope you're here with us. Bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.